Hey Barda, did you know that the following is a fan-based parody? And that Del Toro Quest is owned by Emily Rada and OLM? Of course, everyone should support the original releases. What's a parody? Hey! There's a, there's a tape recorder here. See what's on it! The kingdom of Del Toro is shrouded in darkness. There once was a time when the belt of Del Toro protected the kingdom from such evil. It was Arden, the first king, who forged the belt and affixed the seven tribal gems to it. Each gem had a unique and magical power, and united, they made Del Tora unconquerable. However, the gems were stolen and scattered to seven of the most dangerous places in the land. This was the doing of the evil Shadow Lord, who then conquered and ruled the land by terror. It is in dark hours that true hope and courage are born. Out of this despair, a boy would step forward to defy the Shadow Lord and search for the Seven Gems. These are the adventures of Leaf, Barda, and Jasmine. If your leg got cut off, would it hurt? Duh. Where would you feel the pain though? In your leg! Exactly! Where would you feel the pain? If, if your, your leg, leg is, is gone. gone! You know, I actually knew someone who got their leg cut off. There was so much blood. His shrieking haunts my dreams sometimes. Where did he feel the pain? Ah! Ah! <gasps> it's the Khan Squad! Dressed in a distinctive red, these grey guards are the best of the best when it comes to the Shadow Lord's forces. Not only proficient in their fighting ability, they are also extremely skilled in tracking and riding. Even their team life is unparalleled. Good thing there's this convenient explosion proof rock to hide behind. They're using a bunch of kill streaks. I bet those period heads camp for this. Time to do it like we think we're wearing a fucking war. How do we lose it? Like 12 of us. Whatever. Let's move out. Man, this cloak sure is useful for these fellas. You said it. Now, if there was only some convenient forest to hide in. Actually, this forest is kind of creepy. Why didn't you say that when we were entering? Can you stop being the Lorax for five seconds, Jasmine? The trees are afraid of something. Hey, did the background just change? A lot of things change around here, pal. Can you guys slow down our jokes? We're trying to keep our audience here. Audience? Who's watching us? An owl? I hate those things! See, 12 years ago today, I... Calm yourself. It's harmless. I think owls are really cute. I need it. Holy crap, did you just slice that bird in half? Just what happened to Biggs and Tank? Well, history repeats itself, Leaf. 
First as a tragedy, and second as a farce. Stop paraphrasing Karl Marx. I'm saying you're a farce, dummy. You're giving me a migraine. Well, it's a good thing miss inhales doubts as well as diseases. You're quoting Karl Marx again. Are you communist or not? Oh crud, Khan squad again. If you guys weren't yelling about communism and killing birds, this wouldn't have happened. Well, these reasons always existed, just not in a reasonable form. I swear to God. Oh, Let's just make like a tree and get out of here. What the heck? Where'd they go? We were only running for 14 seconds. What? whoa. Where am I? I'm not a communist. I'm... Dwayne! Oh wait, message are wrong. Man, I'm hungry as hell. Too bad that Don Comey is a food sack. Jeez, if only she didn't have to cross paths with him. After all we've been through, you can't leave us now. But what's the point if all we're gonna do is put another king in the palace? Huh? I've been thinking about what that stranger said, and it's been bugging me. What stranger? Remember that man in Tom's shop? The one with the big, ugly scar on his face? Manifesto of the Communist Party by Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels A specter is haunting Europe. The specter of communism. All the powers of old Europe have entered in- Hmm. Not to mention what happened the other day. Prin, dreams aren't always fun, you know. There are some nights when I'd rather have no dreams at all. Last night I had one that made me so mad when I woke up I wanted to scream. What did you dream about? I dreamt about doom. Why in the world would I want to dream about that guy? A specter is haunting Europe. The specter of communism. All the powers of old Europe have entered into a holy alliance to exorcise this specter. Pope and Tsar, Metternich and Guizot, French radicals and German police spies. What you dreamed of was real. This is the dreaming spring. Whatever or whoever you picture in your mind when you drink, you visit in spirit when you fall asleep. I was thinking of doom before I went to sleep last night? What's wrong with me? Don't worry, little guy. Thanks to talking trees in this forest of silence, I was able to get my doctorate. I hope they're okay. Ah! Yeah, cheer up, comrade. Thank you, comrade. You've always had my back. Especially when we met those two strangers. They're saying something, but I can't understand what it is. I've never heard that language before. I wonder if they understand what we're saying. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What are you so scared about? They seem to be all right to me. Yeah, well, let's not forget that we've only... I just wish Mom was still around. Especially when that stranger came up to me. There's been no one for so long. Who are you? I'm Ray. Ray who? Ray Skywalker. That was strange. Especially because the woman looked exactly like my mother. Anyway, we should keep moving. Hey, when is it my turn to flashback? Wait a second. This is a bottle episode, isn't it? Well, anyways, remember that one time? 
Fantasy fiction comes the first installment in a spellbinding new series. Hello, I'm Emily Rodder. I've got a new book. I've done it with Mark McBride, the wonderful fantasy illustrator. It's called The Glim. And it's a quest. It's another world. It's uh, full of the most wonderful fantasy illustrations. Hope you can see that okay. And I think it was probably one of the most exciting uh, writing experiences of my life. So I can only hope that you enjoy it as well. Manny said, now that's a good time. Ah! Ugh, I hate ponds. They remind me of that weirdly sexual fish. Why have you come? Get he will come. Get come into the lake. Get it with me. Get Let him come. Get Welcome. Get she sent us into the darkness. Tegan told us one thing. The Shadow Lord has come to Guess it wasn't just the fish, huh? Hmm. I still have that extra sock on hand. I'm so rich and bored. Where'd those two doofuses go? Ah! Don't scare me like that! At least it wasn't a rat. Oh yeah, that reminds me of that one time in the city of rats. It took us three months to get all those rats at the apartment. Anyway, one time I blamed that guy for making fun of my mom. You're scared. I can see it in your eyes. Just say that again! You're scared. I can see it in your eyes. Your mama's so stupid! Made an appointment with Dr. Pepper! What does he know about my mom? You 
have no idea what I've been through. You're gonna pay for saying that! Jeez, now I'm tired. I've never been this worked up since that party from the tournament. Match number three, Narita versus Twig. Cheering. Where am I? Getting whacked with that stick wasn't as bad as getting stuck next to the Middle Ages, though. Well, I still have that other sock on my hand. Save the forest, they said. We shouldn't build a parking lot here, they said. Oh, for Arden's sake. I've been running around like a headless mudlet while the two hormonal teenagers get all the flashback edits. Huh? I try to be as helpful as I can, and yet I'm still brushed aside for angsty young adult romance. And even after I made that rubber ducky for Leaf. I'll show him. I'll get hitched in Series 3. Then Rod will have to give me some attention. I'm sick of having these flashbacks. I'm gonna actually find my friends. I hear that communist riffraff. I can hear capitalist propaganda from a mile away. Jasmine! You missed this clearing. Do you think it was linked to our emotions? That'd just be silly. Maybe it's the height of the romantic tension. Finally found you two. You packed protection, right, Leaf? Bada! I was about to penetrate two things tonight. You two can do that one scene from Stephen King's uh, It later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have company. We're surrounded again. Now that's a katana. I thought we agreed to never talk of that again. Thank Arden we were able to narrowly escape. Those birds were relentless. Well, if Jasmine didn't open her commie mouth, we would have been fine. I told you for the last time, I'm not a communist! Don't shout, I'm right next to you. I'm not shouting! Yada yada. How many episodes do we have left?
girl has fallen into the river and down. Prepare the cloud person. Hey! Prepare the cloud person and save the girl. New Del Toro Bridge episodes not coming soon.